nothing funny here. <laughs> Hi everybody! It's time for Neighborhood Community Shout Outs! Alright. Okay. There we go. Well, Jeez. hello there, Boomer. The wrecking crew's here. <laughs> My baby. Okay. Uh, Hannah Hinkle, I hope you're watching this. I haven't... I saw this message a while back, and then I forgot about it, and I remembered about it t today, and I said, i got to make sure I say this. So... I am sorry this is late, but I am putting this out there. Um, Hannah Hinkle's brother was murdered on October 8th, 2014. He was 27 years old. He was known as Montana Bill because he had a tattoo of Montana on his face. He was a traveler, loved trains, loved life. He was brilliant and kind and always willing to do anything to help those he loved. Well, his family is having a hard time paying off his grave and his headstone. So they have set up a GoFundMe account. And they put links to his obituary, his Facebook, and her fa their, the family Facebook Um they gave me those links. I'm going to put all those links down there and the GoFundMe will be in there as well. If anybody could possibly please um, help the family out a little bit by sending a small donation, um, anything will help. Um, it's a very sad, sad story um, to lose a family member to, to any type of death, but to a murder is just to have that person ripped from your life. So, Hannah, I'm so sorry I didn't catch this sooner and get this out to, to our community. And um, our hearts and thoughts and prayers go out to you, Hannah, and your entire family. And uh, we love you. Proudest Mama 77, I've been communicating with her privately. And um, she needs some thoughts and prayers sent her way. Um, she had gone in for a colonoscopy and they found an excessive amount of polyps and they removed the polyps and they found some cancerous cells. So she is in the process of seeing an oncologist and finding out whether or not she has to do radiation or chemotherapy or what the process is, that she, the road that she's going to have to go down. So if everybody can please possibly keep the Proudest Mama 77 in your thoughts and prayers as well. And Proudest Mama 77, you are always in our thoughts and prayers and in our heart. And we love you. And please keep us updated as you go on. Okay, so with all that being said, my question yesterday is what do you like to do on rainy days and we had a variety of answers um bonnie fazbear pj snacks and movies melody mainville mom's blog 80 popcorn hot chocolate movies and youtube um daily rambles she likes to watch the rain if she's not driving in it. FUD64, curl, curl up and watch movies. Frankie Laverne, loves to draw. Angie Lupus Life, create artwork. Justina C. Now this is a little strange one, Justina. She likes to clean when it rains outside. A little strange one. Tanya Longley, I'm with you on this one, sleep. Greg Myers, stay home and watch horror movies. Yeah. Scott Jenny, thunder and lightning storms. They like to sit in their car because they have a sunroof and just sit in the car and watch it. That's something I would enjoy. That is awesome. How do you make up 73? Get cozy and read a good book and listen to the rain. Leave a window open and listen to the rain. 
I love listening to the rain. Love it. Uh, Lord Gierno, when when he was little, they used to jump on the trampoline in the rain in their swimsuits. So he still likes to go outside in the rain and, and just be outside when it's raining. Crimson Fairy, she used to drive to the beach and watch the storms roll in over Monterey Bay. And she likes to listen to the rain and drink a nice cup of hot chocolate. All right, this is a little strange too. The spasmodic likes to mow the lawn. His lawn mowers are rusty, but he doesn't care. Tracy Quick, I bet you, I bet you would never guess what Tracy Quick said. Something with two guys. In it. <laughs> Tracy Quick said that she would want to hang out with two hot guys and take cat naps. <laughs> BMBS, I actually. It is actually refreshing when it rains. I don't mind being out in the rain as long as it's not thundering and lightning. Don't really like driving in the rain, but do, do not mind short drives for errands such for errands and such. Lightning scares me. My neighbor's house was hit by lightning about four years ago. I was in the kitchen with my daughter while she was cooking, and all of a sudden we heard a big boom and saw a huge, like, fireball in our backyard. Not even exaggerating, it was so loud, it was like a rifle being fired off right by our head. The blinds were closed, but you could see the glow through the blinds. In the end, it did hit the neighbors one corner of their house, jolting the pipes inside of their walls, causing a nail to puncture the water pipe. Pretty scary. Glittering the sky. I live in Washington State. I have nine months of rain, and that leaves almost everything done under that circumstances. I can love sunny days. That you gotta come here then. We then don't... I will have so many things to do that I will enjoy. <laughs> we, we hardly see the rain here. Terry Johnson. I like to read, watch movies, or use the computer on rainy days. Amber Rice, I have a lot of rainy days lately, and if I'm not working, I will sit down with some hot chocolate, grab my supernatural blanket, and watch horror films. The Abyss 92882, on rainy days, I go running in the rain. Rebecca Hesler, 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 Rebecca Hesler. My favorite thing to do on rainy day is to cuddle up on the couch with my husband and kids under a blanket and watch movies. Is she new? I think she might be. Welcome to the neighborhood, Rebecca Hessler. Yeah. I like to leave the window open to feel the cool, crisp air and hear the rain falling. I like to have some sort of super casserole in the crock pot to warm my soul. When you live in California, rain isn't just weather, it's an experience. Yeah. YouTube guy, sitting on my front porch and listening to the rainfall. Yeah. If our back patio didn't leak, I would like to sit out there and listen to the rain. Cold today's. Cold today. Rainy days are no different than my regular days, except I spend less time out in the garden. Okay, and our last one is Missy Harris, and she does arts and crafts with the kiddos and finding a good movie on Netflix or Hulu Plus. What do you like to do on rainy days? Uh, I, I guess to sit around and watch movies, we always... We've actually vlogged ourselves when it's, when it's raining. We open the doors all up. And, um, I like to, when I, I used to read a lot. I don't anymore because I don't have time. We're running four channels. <laughs> but I used to like to cuddle up with a book and read. Um, now it's just cuddle up and watch a movie. Um, but I love to have the doors open and listen to the rain. I love it. Love the rain. Okay, my question for today is... 
What was the last dream you had that you remember? And tell us about it. Woo. Remember, it's a PG channel, guys. It's uh. time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Beep, beep, beep. Honk, honk. Okay, so last beep. night's movie was um, The Twelve Monkeys, 1995. And the question is threefold. What was the inspiration? For the movie. Well, the plot was inspired by a, a little French short from 1962 called La Jetée. Um, the, um, the title was based on a L. Frank Baum no, uh, novel, The Magic of Oz, of the um, Wizard of Oz uh, series. And it was about uh, the Gnome King, along with Kiki Aru, convinced 12 monkeys to become human soldiers for an endless supply of food. So the army of the 12 monkeys, that was the inspiration for the title. Alright, and the logo was inspired by a puzzle created by Sam Lloyd in 1898, where uh, it was circular and you twist it and the, there was 13 Chinamen and you twist it and there one of them disappears. That was the total inspiration! And uh, not everybody got everything, but the people who got it right was Terry Johnson, the YouTube guy 1985, Tanya Longley, Bambi S, Cole Today, and Missy Harris. <laughs> okay, today's uh, trivia question is easy one Hellboy 2004. I like that movie. Who played Abe Sapien? question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all. Don't hit my elbow. We love you all <laughs> very much. Thumbs up and we will see you all tomorrow.